Let's go over to Europe now, where UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is warning of a second wave of COVID-19. The WHO says young people could be driving a spike in European cases, and some governments now say they could reimpose more restrictions. Now, keep in mind, Europe is also preparing for its late summer holiday, where basically the whole continent goes on vacation. ABC's foreign correspondent Maggie Ruley is in the popular tourist destination of Dubrovnik, Croatia, with more. Maggie... Croatia right now is not only welcoming fellow Europeans, but basically anybody who wants to visit, including Americans who are banned elsewhere. We know that you've talked to tourists who are excited and taking advantage of that ability, but how are the locals reacting to this open door policy? Yeah, well, Danny, you mentioned the entire continent going on vacation. You can probably see behind me, even at the beach, it's a pretty full beach. People are really out here in full force. And, you know, most of the locals we talk to say they acknowledge the risk of welcoming so many tourists like this. But the vast majority tell us that as long as that risk is well managed, they're welcoming the tourists. They say they need it. Tourism is such a huge industry here in Croatia, and it's so important to the city of Dubrovnik. We just went with, met with the mayor of the city this morning, and he told us that at least one member of every family is involved in tourism and it makes up about 80% of the city's economy. So if they miss even just one season, it could be debilitating. That's why uh, the mayor says he's really pushing for this even slight opening. He's hoping to get the tourism numbers at least up 30%. He thinks that that should help people survive. But uh, Diane, some of the restaurant owners we talked to say they're already feeling the impact. We met with one local restaurant owner in Old City behind me, and, and he told me that some of his friends in the industry have already had to shut down their restaurants. They are really feeling the impact of this lack of tourism. And for him, he says he welcomes the tourists and he especially welcomes Americans. My restaurant is basically 90% uh, of uh, intercontinental passengers, basically Americans, New Zealand, Australia. Um, that will be majority of, of, of my guests. We were waiting for the flights to come back to Dubrovnik. That was a big uh, deal for us. Um, and then mid-July, the flights uh, started operating a bit more frequent. So it's getting busier now. And thank God we have you, the Americans, are back. <laughs> Uh, thank God we have the Americans, he said. We've heard that from a lot of shop owners here. Uh, the mayor also made the point to say right now he's welcoming Americans. Uh, he feels like the city is prepared. You know, he says the city has been preparing. Uh, they'll keep watching those levels if they see any spikes. Uh, right now, though, it is an open door, and, and he's welcoming tourists from America. And Maggie, I know it's not just uh, everybody come and there are no rules in place. You've already walked us through that mm -hmm. people have to meet a number of checklists, including a negative mm -hmm. COVID test. But... God forbid this goes wrong and there is a surge in cases. What's the plan if that happens? Dan, it's a really good question. And the mayor this morning told us that they do have a plan. I mean, first and foremost, he says Croatia uh, worked fast. They locked down quickly. They never had a huge surge like other countries. Uh, and he says that they've used that time to prepare. Now, obviously, they're watching those cases. And he also made a point to say at the end of the day, they're going to listen to the medical professionals. And he said that if they start recommending things like curbing tourism, they will do that. So they're prepared to reverse this decision. But right now, he seems confident that they won't have to do that. But again, Diane, this is sort of a test case in open borders and only time will tell. Yeah, and the world is watching. Let's hope it's a success story, Maggie. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.